So now that I have these two things in place, what I want to do is create a, a circular highlight that indicates an area on screen that the students should be paying attention to. And I'm going to do that using my deep blue solid that's right over here. So I'm just going to click and drag. And I'm doing this so that I can make sure that things are um, staying within the same color uh, palette that I've been working with. And I'm just going to, I'm going to use the center of the document and I'm just going to create a um, circle here. And using the center of the document just means that it's going to be a little bit easier later on. And now what I'm going to do is draw a second circle within that document so that it can basically look a little bit more like a stroke. I'm going to pull that there. And that second circle is just a little bit off, uh, so now we can go back in and modify it a little. I'm going to just stretch this out. Lots of different ways you can make a circle, but this is just another way to show you how. And with that second mask, I'm going to switch down here from Add to Subtract. And so now you can see this uh, blue highlight that's over here. I'm going to use my Transform properties here to change the position. Uh, first, let's go ahead and make sure that this is a 3D so that it shows up in my uh, space and so that as my camera moves, the space will or the uh, circle will also move. So we're going to uh, change the position here and go ahead and highlight. Uh, we need B1. That's a little large, so we're going to go ahead and scale that down. And again, lots of different ways that you can modify all of these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just slide that over and maybe squish it a little bit, which means that we're going to uh, deselect the little chain that will constrain the proportions, and now we're going to sort of squish it that way and slide it over. We need it a little bit wider so that we can get all of the content in there. Again, all of this is a very, <laughs> very delicate process. Um, and now I'm going to duplicate this because I need a second one to uh, highlight that B2. So we're going to do duplicate. And then with this one, we're just going to uh, move it down works well there. So now what I'm going to do is I want to make it look like this is being animated so that it's like being drawn on. And so over here, I already have it up in my effects and presets. It's called a radial wipe. You can find it under transition if you want to. And I'm going to go ahead and drop it on my piece here. And uh, you can see that it's on my second element here. And if I slide this up to 100%, you can see that that circle is no longer visible. Um, so we're going to start here. I'm going to activate the keyframes here and then move forward a little bit, about half a second. and move this down to zero. She and so you can see how that creates that animation there. Uh, once I have it here, I can copy the effect and select this uh, top circle here. I want to make sure that my playhead is parked where I want that effect to uh, start. And if we do Command V, now uh, she continues. To they'll both circle and uh, draw attention to that space at the same time. If I, so if I come back here, B one and B two, she continues the work that she started in the second. So he's talking about that second lesson, which has already been featured in the video, and so it's pretty easy to. Uh, make that kind of connection.